Uh, we are today in Amesbury, Massachusetts. This is the town my father was born in in 1932. And according to the 1930 and 1920 census, my uh, grandfather, uh, Edward Joseph Grinnell, lived here. And according to the 1910 census, uh, my uh, great-grandfather, Henri Jacques, uh, lived in this town. And we're going to start off with a fountain in front of the public library. I don't know if you can read this. It says Josiah Bartlett, born in Amesbury, Massachusetts, 1729, died at Kingston, New Hampshire, 1795, patriot, scholar, statesman, and delegate to the Continental Congress, a signer of the Declaration of Independence with uh, Stark at Bennington, a member of the uh, convention which uh, ratified the Constitution of the United States, Chief Justice, President, and First Governor of New Hampshire, uh, not more illustrious for public service than uh, for private virtues. This monument erected July 4, 1888 and dedicated to his countrymen by a citizen of Amesbury. When my uh, father, I remember when I was a kid, my father said that when he was a kid, uh, there was a lot of ethnic tension inside of Amesbury, and he was born in 1932. He said the uh, French Catholics went to one Catholic church in town uh, uh, with the uh, Polish. On the other hand, the Irish went to their own separate Catholic church. Apparently, the French Canadians had a reputation of being strike breakers, and judging by some of the... Uh, the fact that there seems to be two churches closest to, close together, I guess maybe he was telling the truth.
to me it looks like the building behind me was probably built in the 1840s but they uh, covered it with uh, vinyl siding unfortunately I don't know who that George Turner was. He was probably important if they put his name on the side of a building. <laughs> 